comic book, the first thing I would do is make a foldable. That way we could have squares that are even for us to draw each picture in, just like in the newspaper. So I am going to hold up my piece of paper, which I've already pre-folded. So we're going to fold it in half like that, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to fold it three more times. One to the middle and one to the back. Okay. So you should have six folds when you're done. So when you open up, you'll have six boxes. See? One, two, three, four, five, six for you to draw in. Now. You are going to need to introduce your superhero first, and I want to show you mine. Mine is the amazing Flying Spider Girl. Okay, so I finished drawing her. Okay, now I have not finished drawing her in my comic because I wanted to do it with you guys. I do have a story I've kind of started in my head now. I put our amazing flying spider girl in Saudi Daisy because what would she do in Saudi Daisy? So it turns out that my spider girl was very tired of fighting crime. So, and she wanted to go to school just like all the other kids. And so she moved to Saudi Daisy. That way she wouldn't have to fight crime. And her secret identity, dun, 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 is Ellie. Her name is Ellie. That's her secret identity. She is a student at Saudi Elementary as part of her secret identity. She's only in the fifth grade. Now, she has a lot of powers and she's super smart in science. So, that's how she built her little flying contraption that I drew on here. So, she's got a little, instead of just regular Spider Man powers, she has a little flying contraption. So, she has rocket boost powers to fly. So, right now she does not have a super nemesis because she just moved to Saudi Daisy. So, I'm going to start my story off with, by introducing my main character into my first square. I did a little thought bubble right here, and it says, no one to save here because Ellie is wanting a break, and she just wants to be a kid for a little while. When all of the sudden, guess what happens? A gigantic storm comes and floods all of Saudi Daisy. <gasps> oh my goodness, we've had that happen before, haven't we? So the floodwaters are raging around the school and Ellie knows she has to do something. So she has to get into her backpack and try and get her superhero costume out without any of her teachers noticing that she is gone. So as she gets in her backpack, gets out of the classroom, sneaks out of the classroom, she's very good. She all of a sudden makes a giant web to divert flood water away from the school and save the kids in the school. Now, some of the water, of course, gets in the school, but she diverts most of the water away from the school. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to keep on my story there. Now, I have added... If you can see some little thought bubbles and I started some drawings here and at the bottom I wrote what's going on in each setting okay so I have my setting scene right here and you can add your little sentences like that now I know some of you like to draw really really big so if you like to draw really big make multiple pages for your book and just tape them or staple them together if you like to draw small you can do the foldable. You have lots of choices here. Now, I didn't make Ellie my flying spider girl. I didn't make her an arch nemesis because she just moved to town. And she was busy saving everybody from the crazy weather. But I could say that the crazy weather was controlled by some kind of evil genius with a weather machine and make that her arch nemesis. So there's lots of places I could go with this idea. Now. I want you guys to have fun, make this comic fun, whatever you want to do. Draw it. Write me some thought bubbles like, oh, no. You can put pow, bap, whatever you want to as your superhero fights off evil. And I want you guys to take your time. Have fun with this. This is your assignment for the rest of the week. I would love for you, if possible, to record a, your reading the comic to us and show us a picture. Because I want to see as many comic books 
on Facebook or Class Dojo as possible. I love all you guys and miss you. And I cannot wait to see you on Thursday at 2.30 in our Zoom dance party slash end of the year slideshow. Make sure you're on that Zoom call. That way you can see the par dance party, okay? Hope to see you all there. Have a great day.